Resolution 1006-29, authorizing a contract with Office Max for the purchase of agency office supplies. Mr. General Manager. Um, thank you, uh, board members. Uh, this actually would probably typically have been on the consent agenda, but for the fact that we have new board members and we wanted to kind of share with you um, one of the things that uh, is reflected here. Uh, this is uh, uh, obviously a resolution to be able to uh, uh, purchase agency office supplies, not a, a, a very big issue. But it also reflects something that the state of Oregon and others do, and that is to uh, come together as a group. Um, the state with much bigger buying power than any of us, even though we're a relatively large uh, special district, um, are, uh, they negotiate contracts uh, with different suppliers, and we'll see that in a further resolution as well, uh, to be able to uh, get a set price. Uh, obviously, for very small entities, uh, um, those set prices are very attractive, more than they can ever negotiate, uh, better deals than they can ever negotiate. And for us, if they're frank, very frankly, it's better than we would be able to negotiate, even given our size. Um, what this has uh, done, uh, obviously, as you saw, are there are two contracts that uh, are two suppliers that are under that state contract. Um, we then do not separately solicit, although in this case we really looked at the type of, uh, of office supplies we needed and chose the, the uh, one of those two suppliers that we think are the best, that is Office Max. Uh, and uh, it allows us to get the cheapest rates, um, but to be able to make use of the larger purchasing power of, uh, of state government uh, as well as other entities such as us who participate in that. So with that, we haven't answered any questions. Uh, if, if, if it's straightforward in terms of the, of the contract itself. Um, we'd be happy to be able to answer any questions. Uh, but urge your approval. I have a motion. I have a motion. Yeah. Second. Opposed in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Resolution 10.06.30, authorizing a contract modification with Sketchy Northwest Incorporated for the purchase of replacement vehicles for provision of lift service. Mr. General Manager. Um, thank you, Mr. President, board members. Uh, um, and, uh, the lift vehicles, those are, again, the smaller vans that really are transporting people, principally in mobility devices, though not solely. It is also individuals who uh, may have uh, trouble getting to a bus stop uh, uh, or uh, being able to ride the, the fixed uh, system, the fixed guideway uh, system. Um, these uh, vehicles uh, will replace a, a number of our aging, and we've really gotten a lot of extra use out of those vehicles. Uh, 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 lots of more, more miles than, uh, than many would think possible, uh, but it's time to be able to replace. These are uh, principally funded by uh, grant funds that come through the state of, uh, of Oregon um, and are allocated to all transit properties, not just us. Uh, the one thing I would note in this uh, is we have listed that we would be picking up 46 lift uh, buses. Um, that is the high number. Um, we're right now still internally evaluating whether or not gasoline-powered vehicles, which these, uh, this, this, this pricing would reflect, or diesel will in fact be the longer-term better benefit for, um, uh, for TriMet. Um, the issue is really one that you get higher uh, miles uh, per gallon uh, off of the diesel vehicles. They are slightly more expensive, and because of new Environmental Protection Agency requirements, there's a, uh, a new standard that must be met in 2010, and as a result, that new technology, though uh, widely used in Europe, has not been introduced here. So there's still some work trying to be able to get a hold of that, to, or to be able to evaluate what is the best strategy. Uh, I think we're leaning toward the diesel uh, vehicles, which would mean a few lesser vehicles that we've been purchasing, but that will provide better long-term uh, mileage uh, and uh, therefore economies uh, uh, to the uh, to us, and also a lower uh, emission rate of uh, of carbon uh, as a result. Be happy to answer any questions. What's the uh, frequency of this uh, replacement? How you know is it based on mileage? Is it uh, year? Uh, how old the age of the vehicles? Or what triggers the replacement? And for us, really, it's miles. Although those are generally pretty well uh, correlated against age. Uh, we would uh, 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 say somewhere in the 250,000 at the uh, at the minimum mileage to be gotten 
we're running some of ours all the way up to 375,000 miles, um, which really means we have to do a bot or an engine replacement. It starts getting costly enough that it's probably more uh, significant to be able to purchase uh, uh, new vehicles. But those are the kinds of evaluations that are done all throughout, uh, looking at each vehicle uh, and really its uh, repair records. Move adoption. <coughs> Mr. President. Fred, um, you, you spoke about the purchasing of, of the lift buses and gas versus diesel and the new requirements that would be on the newer buses, which is not technology at this point. If, TriMet, we go to diesel, what implications would that have of bringing in a vehicle now that we know in one or two years is not going to be in compliance with the laws, will that then cause us to do any retrofitting or is there any consideration of, if possible, being able to delay the purchasing of diesel, uh, of replacing them, some of those buses so that we get buses that will already be in compliance with the laws? Uh, let me be very clear, I may not admit. Um, the, whatever we purchase will be in compliance with the new requirements that are coming in place in 10. My only point was trying to, and maybe not as clear as I should have, is that that technology is a technology that has not been utilized uh, other than in testing uh, in the United States. It is a technology, uh, really an after-burning uh, 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 exhaust uh, stream uh, that's used in Europe uh, and has been for a number of years. Uh, but these vehicles uh, purchased, by the way, our existing fleet is diesel now, except for our sedans. Um, and, uh, uh, and the ability to be able to have higher efficiency, less maintenance on diesel is something that's very attractive. However, um, what we're wanting to be able to evaluate is, does it make the best long-term economic sense? But it does absolutely comply with the new requirements that are coming in intent. We would never buy without that, uh, that provision. Thanks for the clarity. Move adoption, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, we have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution 100631 authorizing an application to the Federal Transit Administration for funds for a domestic electrical propulsion system for prototype streetcar vehicle and authorizing an amendment to the intergovernmental agreement with the City of Portland to <coughs> disperse federal grant funds for the prototype streetcar vehicle. Mr. <laughs> Mr. General Manager. I could almost say, I could almost stop there. <laughs> uh, let me just, uh, and this is particularly probably helpful for uh, new board members, uh, we are the uh, designated recipient for Federal Transit Administration dollars, and, and so oftentimes uh, we will in fact be the receiver, the applier of for and the receiver of funds, and then really have a sub-recipient relationship with um, other entities, in this case with the City of Portland. Uh, and the Portland Streetcar uh, uh, Inc. Um, what this is, is the ability to be able to um, receive a grant that's already been uh, uh, announced uh, that would allow for um, the research and development on a domestically produced propulsion system for a streetcar. Right now, um, that uh, uh, the current streetcars are run on propulsion systems that were a part of the SCOTA, uh, uh, Czechoslovakian <coughs> now, uh, 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 other uh, uh, provider, um, a new technology on the vehicles that are being produced right now for the East Side Streetcar Loop is a Austrian company, is that right? Elin. Elin. Uh, and what this would do is allow for the development, at least uh, developing a prototype to see if a domestically produced propulsion system for streetcar, which are growing in interest not just here but across the nation. Um, and so this, uh, uh, author, this uh, resolution would authorize us to be able to go ahead and apply for the grant and ultimately enter into that intergovernmental agreement with the, um, the uh, city of Portland to disperse those funds for that purpose. This is a straight pass-through. There are no obligations from TriMet in relationship to this other than the, the administrative relationship that uh, is existing. With that, we urge your approval. have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. We've been seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries.